Hello, everybody, and welcome to Pocket Coach. My name is Anthony Crane, and I am really excited about this topic today. What changed in the safe big picture when we went from version 5.1 to version 6.0? And I'm trying something I've never done before. In our video where we introduce uh, Safe 5.1, we introduce 6.0, we do this wipe version where we kind of little by little build it up. So we thought, let's try the same kind of uh, um, technique on this. So this right here is Safe 5.1, and it has changed. And so the question is, what on here is different? And so here is what it looks like today, right? So yesterday, <laughs> you know, previously, and today, and so there's been lots of changes, but again, it's hard to see them all because there's so many of the icons. So we're going to walk you through the most interesting changes on the big picture when they went from this 5.1 to 6.0. All right, so let's see what you guys think. I can't wait to see uh, how you guys feel about this particular approach because I, I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. All right, so back to uh, the save five. So this is save five. Let's start with the roles. So over here on the left-hand side, we, you know, we have all the roles. And again, if you don't know the big picture yet, go please watch our intro to the safe big picture 6.0 and we'll introduce everything to you. Here, we're assuming you already understand the big picture and we're showing you what changed. So uh, over here on the left, you can see the different roles. So there's been changes here, okay? So first off, notice here at the bottom, this used to say business and then a little vertical bar technology. It now says business and technology. Seems like a small change, but they're trying to talk about how important it is for those for the art to include business and technology in the art for the art to be successful. So business and technology. The next thing they did was they flip flopped these roles. So um, they move the product owner to the to the uh, left, the product manager to the left, and the solution manager to the left, and therefore moving the others to the right. They did that because now if you look up this column, it's all business. If you look right now, it says business, but it's all tech above it. And here it says tech, but it's all business above it. So they reversed the icons to match the business and technology idea. Okay, you'll see that in the new one. The other thing, uh, this used to say solution and uh, solution architect slash engineer, uh, system architect slash engineer, it's a mouthful. So they have simplified it. It's solution architect, system architect. Um, finally, Scrum Master got renamed as well, and now it's Scrum Master uh, and Team Coach. Uh, so they it, and so we call it SMTC for short, uh, but it's try to try to emphasize that a Scrum Master is not a project manager; they are a team coach. They should be helping the team to become amazing, right? To become high performing. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like today. So that's yesterday. And so now you can see business and technology. You can see the business roles are all on the left side here. The technical roles are on the right, solution architect, system architect, and down here, the SMTC. All right. So those are the changes in the roles. Now what? Um, let's look at the bottom bar here. So first off, the Lean Agile Leadership Competency, remember the seven competencies. Again, look at that other video if you don't. Um, that competency has been slid to the left to kick off kind of a left to right look at this thing instead of being at the center. That's because there's going to be another competency slid over here into the most fundamental layer of safe. There used to only be one. It was without Lean Agile Leadership, you cannot achieve these other six competencies. Again, watch the previous video for that talk. Um, instead, there's going to be two competencies that are fundamental and in every single configuration of SAFE. Don't forget, we still have the configurations, essential, large solution, portfolio, and full, but there are now two competencies that underpin it instead of one. That's a massive change. Instead of one competency, Lean Agile Leadership, there is a second. So that's going to be slid over to make room. Uh, what else changed? They swapped the core values and the Lean Agile mindset. I'm really happy about that because I've always said that the Lean Agile mindset comes first and I kind of read left to right. So now it le reads left to right. It comes first, core values second, and safe principles third. So I'm really excited about that change. Speaking of the safe principles, there was a change in here. Principle six has been renamed. And now it's all about organizing around value. Um, and that to me is really exciting. Uh, it used to be a uh, much more, it was like the most wordy one and talked about batch and all this the reason they changed it is the name of it was like these three accelerators. Well, now there's eight accelerators and you couldn't put all eight in the name, right? Organizing around value actually aligns um, with the principles. So you'll see more about that. Um, there's another part, but in the end, that's the principle got renamed and it includes these eight accelerators for flow. Very exciting. Okay. Um, SPC, slight change to the icon. Uh, now they're trying to show that they're more of a coach than a teacher. 
So um, that's kind of, they think that icon says that better. Um, they got rid of this uh, 5.1 thing that you would think they put six there. They didn't. It's just up here on the top left now. So they just nixed it. Why? Because they want to make room for that confidency that's coming in. Okay, I'm teasing you, I know. All right. Uh, and finally, oh, there it is. Continuous learning culture, which used to be at the bottom of this. Um, really, this came in uh, in my other video a little bit later. You'll see if you watch that video when we finally pull this competency in, it has now moved to the right-hand side where this 5.1 used to be, and it now is critical to every transformation. Whether you pick portfolio, large solution, essential, or full safe, now continuous learning culture, which would disappear. If you go back to five, this would disappear depending on which configuration you pick, is now fundamental to all configurations. So in other words, you need lean agile leaders and you need a continuous learning culture in order to achieve business agility. So I find that very exciting as well. Um, and then, uh, so here's what it looks like now. Uh, and also there was a change to the implementation roadmap. Um, the implementation roadmap inside, uh, they've done some really exciting changes in there. So be sure and check it out uh, for one part. Uh, step 10, which is one of my favorite steps, Accelerate, uh, has gotten a new article and they talk about continuous learning culture a lot in that article 10. Uh, and then they, uh, the organize around value that we talked about as a principle, uh, they renamed that design arts and value streams or whatever that was to organize around value, which to me is so much more compelling. So, uh, so there it is. You can see the two icons swapped. You can see now the two competencies that are fundamental instead of one. All right. So that's what happened at the bottom bar. Now what? Let's take a look at the team layer. Okay. So moving up, we're into the essential layer. Okay. In the essential layer, Lean UX came off of the spanning palette and is now hanging out over here next to design thinking. Why? Not because it doesn't apply everywhere. It still does. It was still made sense in the spanning palette, but honestly, it ties very tightly with design thinking. So it's just two thoughts that are quite related now hanging out together. Okay. Uh, number two, built-in quality has shifted over here. Again, the, um, this is a team concern. And so they wanted to bring the built-in quality closer to the team so that they could own that. Uh, again, you know, just making the big picture look more cohesive in its areas. Um, the program backlog has been renamed. That's because the word program has largely been removed. And we've been waiting for that. We Agilists have been waiting for the word program to go away. We knew it was going to be a tough change. So we weren't surprised it was taking time. Now you will almost never see. So anywhere you saw program, in fact, SPC used to be safe program consultant. Now it's a uh, practice consultant, right? Um, so uh, that's a change there. Um, so you'll see the word program went away quite a bit. So most of the time, you'll see instead of program art, not always, but a lot of the time. So instead of program backlog, art backlog, okay? This is the Agile Release Trains feature backlog. Um, what else? Number four, the Kanban. This year, Kanban, that used to be its own article. Um, you could click that separately from this, which is always confusing to people. It's been moved into the art backlog article uh, and they've renamed uh, one of the columns used to say backlog. It doesn't say that anymore now. It's like ready to start or something like that. So um, this has been removed as an article. It's been grouped in underneath the art backlog um, article. And then these four little elements here, plan, execute, review, retro, these are the scrum events, if you will. They're still in safe, but they took them off the big picture. There's just part of the article now. Um, and then they renamed this. This used to be scrum with the LXP in the corner, right? So they renamed it and now it's gonna be safe um, scrum, I believe. Yep, safe scrum, okay? So that's gonna be renamed to safe scrum. Uh, what else? I think there's one more, yeah. And then Kanban is safe Kanban team uh, because th this is really still about teams. They want to make that more clear. So we have uh, safe scrum and safe Kanban team. And the thing about safe scrum, now they can take a little more liberty, right? Because they're not saying it's scrum, it's safe scrum. It's based on scrum. It's got the heart of scrum, but they've also done things that make sense when you're part of an agile release. Train. So that gives them license to kind of tweak it more easily without resistance. So those are the seven big changes, uh, but there's more. So let's pull in safe 6.0. So this is what safe 6.0 looks like now. There's lean UX, there's built-in quality hanging out next to the two styles, okay? So you can see that they, they've pulled the stuff in as I promised, but there's some new stuff here. First off, there's now this beautiful little flow icon, art flow, team flow. And don't forget, remember I said principle six change to um, organize around value, right? Um, so all of this is related. If you think about it, when people ask me what's the purpose of Agile, I actually have it down to two things now. I, I'm, I'm here as an Agile coach to accelerate your flow and improve your culture. And to me, that summarizes everything I'm doing. How do we accelerate your flow? How do we improve your culture, right? 
um, and, and a culture of quality being part of that, right? So um, I love this, that they're now emphasizing the idea of flow, not only in their principles, but even on the big picture. It's all about team flow. And so now the scrum master team coach, what are you doing to accelerate team flow? What is your team doing? Have you encouraged them to try new experiments to, to improve team flow, right? And, and improve team culture. So uh, an art flow, right? The RTE should be concerned about how to accelerate art flow, not by themselves, but as a passion, right? Um, so that's the interesting. I really love that. And then the other uh, big addition here, they now have cloud here. This used to just say uh, DevSecOps. Now they've pulled cloud in because of its you know uh, its role in DevSecOps, uh, its importance for everybody. So there's some articles there as well. Okay, let's move up to the large solution layer. So in the large solution layer, just like before, you're going to see this every, oh, do you see Kanban went away? So Kanban's gone and now it's his art backlog. Again, it's going to happen throughout the model. This Kanban and this one up here, they're going to go away and the, the content of those articles still move into solution backlog. And again, there used to be a backlog column in this solution backlog that was confusing. So now it's just the ready to start or whatever they called it. Um, so you'll see that when you click on this article. What else? Solution backlog also got renamed to solution train backlog. Um, I don't really have any strong feelings about that one, <laughs> but that's now solution train backlog. Uh, two more interesting changes. The pre and post have been renamed. They've been called the pre and post forever. It's always been awkward for me to talk about the pre and post um, just be, by name. Like it's nice and simple. So I liked how tiny those words were, but they didn't evoke a lot. So now the new name for pre is the pre plan. So before all the arts go and do their PI planning, uh, the, um, the, the art should come together, the art leaders should come together to pre-plan on dependencies across those arts. So the pre-plan. And then the post was renamed to uh, coordinate and deliver. So uh, instead of a post, it really is all about coordinating and delivering against what we came up with in the PI planning, which was tied to the pre. So uh, you'll see those changes as well. I think that's it. Yep. Okay. So let's bring in uh, say six and then say six. Oh, look at this. First thing you notice solution train flow and the STE. So again, as a passion area, the STE should always be wondering, how do I improve my solution train flow? So the STE, the RT, the scrum master team coaches, they're all working together to achieve that safe principle so that they can accelerate flow at all levels. I really, really like that. Um, also, you'll notice that there's now a solution icon over here. There wasn't one. If you go back and look at, say, five, they didn't actually have the solution icon here. Uh, but to balance it out, notice that they have it at the essential layer. They have it at the portfolio layer. So it just makes sense. Um, oh, and also they moved the name. Oh, no, that's not. That'll be later. Okay. So they added solution here as a um, product. Okay. I think that's everything at this layer. Yep. Okay. Next, moving into the portfolio layer, what changed? Once again, no surprise, Kanban went away. Uh, it's been moved into the portfolio backlog. Again, there was a column called backlog. Now it's going to be ready to start. Um, and then you'll notice here, this is what I was trying to say by accident before, solutions, the, the word has been moved above. Why is that important? It's not, it's just it's imbalance. So you can see here, solution is above it, here solution is above it. So it was kind of awkward to now have it below it in one place. So they moved that to the top. Um, so let's bring in say six and, uh, you can see here, uh, once again, flow this time of the portfolio, you know, so we got portfolio flow, solution flow, art flow, team flow, all tied back to that principle. <laughs> Very exciting to me. And then value stream management is also part of this, right? How do we manage all these value streams? How do we make sure that they are flowing value? So, um, really exciting stuff there. Okay. Uh, and then also they have brought big data to the portfolio layer because of the impact that big data has on strategy. So uh, you'll see that up there in some articles on big data. Uh, and that's it for the portfolio layer. Okay, moving up to the blue bar up here, business agility. So that's always said business agility. Uh, on the left was this little guy. On the right was this little guy. Well, this has been removed from the right. I've always been a little confused by the fact that we had measure and grow and then we had metrics. So I'm really excited to see they just combined them. Uh, so metrics will be renamed to measure and grow, but anything that was in those metrics articles will still be found um, organized into an article that combines the thinking around measure and grow and the thinking around metrics. So that's nice. One stop shop instead of two. Um, in addition, the little left-hand side of this went away as well. So we're going to see the right go away. We're going to see the left go away on the left side. These are the operational value streams. Um, remember, these are development value streams here. If you don't know about that, that's another topic. Uh, but the operational value stream has been moved underneath the enterprise and government because 
that's what the operational value streams represent. They represent the enterprise and the government. So it kind of makes sense that they'd be there. So uh, you'll see that they go underneath here. That's how we operate, okay? So the operational value stream moves, measure and grow moves. Um, now, there it is. So you can see the operational value stream now sitting pretty underneath enterprise and government representing those value streams. How do they do the job, right? And then development value streams are how do we flow uh, features into the systems that support these guys, right? Um, and then uh, you'll notice uh, what else? Oh, um, the last thing right here is the Miz Agility now shows a value stream. So look at all the places the value stream icon shows. If you didn't know, these gray chevrons represent a value stream. So there's a value stream here at the essential layer. There's a value stream here at the solution layer with many arts on the one value stream, which is something, an anti-pattern. Look at one of my other videos for why. Notice the portfolio has multiple value streams that it's coordinating. So one to one, it could be one to many, but then you're going to need portfolio-like thinking. Uh, many to one, and now uh, many value streams. And how do we coordinate all that, right? Well, then there's operational value streams. So that's one style, essential. Second style, large solution. Third style, portfolio. Fourth style, operational. And now check this out, this style, a business agility value stream. That's always been there, but you had to click the article. So now they made it really obvious. They, they're showing there is a value stream for business agility. It is different than operational value streams. This is how do we get the job done? How do we service our customers? This is how do we flow you know, the development? Um, this is how do we flow development with a bunch of arts? Here's how we flow development with a single art. But this is completely different. The business agility value stream is how do we sense new opportunities, build MVPs around those opportunities, and use pivot or persevere thinking to get those opportunities to be profitable, right? So that's a value stream of itself, and it's repeatable. And what's really exciting to me, they in the original article where they talked about this particular value stream, they mentioned the seven competencies, and they had a description for each of the steps in the business agility uh, flow, the value stream, the business agility value stream. Well, now they've taken each one of those steps and they've mapped which competency will accelerate which step, really thus bringing together the message that these competencies support these value stream steps. And 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 even, uh, you know, uh, uh, not quite one-to-one, -one, some help more than one, some are helped by more than one. So, you know, one, one might help two, one might be helped by two, right? But for the most part, they've mapped these competencies to those steps I think that's really cool. So as your organization earns these merit seven merit badges, you will be achieving business agility in one of those steps. So click on the article, check it out. I think you'll find it very interesting. Um, what else? Okay, spanning palette. Uh, I think this might be the last thing. On the spanning palette, what changed? So um, milestones are have been removed. They're still in the model. They just happen to be inside the roadmap article. Kind of think that makes sense. Uh, they are always part of a roadmap anyway. So this is a, a change I like uh, quite a bit. Metrics, I already told you, will be renamed to Measure and Grow because that used to be here. It's the stronger name of the two. Uh, and so if we slide it over, you can see now, yep, there's Measure and Grow, and you can see Roadmap is gone. But there's some new stuff on the spanning palette that wasn't there before. OKRs. Where have those been our whole lives, right? Inside of articles. Now they're on the big picture. People get confused between KPIs and OKRs, so let me be clear with you. A KPI tells you how your flow is doing. It's just a, uh, it's like a, a Geiger counter, right? It's like a, 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 an earthquake detector. It's just always reading how things are going. OKRs are objectives. So this is goals to the future. So think of KPIs as current state measurement and OKRs as future state of measurement towards, right? So we're measure, we measure towards that future state here. We're actually measuring the current state, right? So it's a simple way to kind of think about things. What else got added? AI. Ha <laughs> ha, chat GPT, anybody? So we've added AI to the big picture here. There'll be some articles in there. AI plays a part at all levels. The A AI can help us connect with our customers, sure, but it can also help us accelerate our value streams. It can also help us accelerate flow, right? So how can AI do that? You'll see that in articles there. And there's measure and grow renames. We talked about that already. So that is all the elements. And so with that, you now have seen every change that I detected, maybe I missed some, you can tell me, but these are the big changes I saw in the big picture. Um, and so safe, safe five becomes safe six. And so there's safe 6.0. We still have our configurations. And with that, I hope that you've enjoyed this tour. If you liked this, please let me know because this took a little bit of work for me. And uh, I wouldn't, you know, I'll do it again if people are enjoying it. So please like the video or subscribe, whatever. Uh, let me leave me a comment. Uh, but uh, if this sort of thing helps, then it would be fun to do that again with the next version of Safe when it comes out.
All right. Well, my name is Anthony Crane with Pocket Coach. I hope you enjoyed this journey. And with that, let us end our video. Somehow, as soon as I find my Zoom window.